This is the most underrated marketing tactic for barbers. If you're looking to get more new clients, this is the way to do it. So in order to think about marketing and how to get more clients in your chair, you have to put yourself in the mindset of your clients. And a generation that I grew up in and that a lot of us grew up in, the first place that we're going to go to look for something is typically Google. So it's not going to be on TikTok or YouTube or it's like, I want to find a barber near me. So typically, most people are going to go to Google for that. And that could change in the future. But as of right now, Google is where most people are going to find their barber. So if you are trying to get all your clients through social media or through flyers or through business card, that stuff works. I don't, I'm not saying you should stop doing that. But what I'm saying is don't ignore what I think is the bigger opportunity, which is Google. And it's simply just getting the clients that are already coming to you to leave you reviews on Google, whether you have your own shop, whether you're independent or whether you work for somebody else, Google, in my opinion, is the fastest way to get new clients in your chair. And I, we started our shop in 2015 is when we opened and we started with zero reviews and now we have over a thousand and we passed barbershops that have been around two, three times longer than us. And it's simply because of the things that we're going to, that I'm going to go over in this video. So how do you get more Google reviews? Uh, you could try to use some fancy software. There's some out there like bird eye and podium. Um, your system that you use might even ask for that. But the reality is that while that stuff helps, most of the reviews that we've gotten have come from simply just asking the clients. <laughs> and that's really all it takes is if somebody seems happy with their cut, you simply ask them to write a review. And the second part of that is you have to make it easy on them. So if you're going to choose to use some automated software or send out a text message, you know, or an email blast, you can do that. And that stuff will get you reviews, but don't tell them to go on Google and search for your shop. And there, you can actually go to your Google business profile or go to the profile of the shop that you work for and just copy the link and send it to them. We found that when you do that, they are way more likely to actually leave a review. So you have to, if you, if you want somebody to do thing, and this is just kind of a general rule for everything. If you want somebody to do something for you, you have to make it easy on them. They're not going to go out of their way in many cases to go and leave your, they already paid you. They already, you already, <laughs> they already <laughs> got what they needed from you. There was a financial exchange and, and the, it's over. So there, a lot of people are not, even the people that are your most loyal clients will not stop what they're doing to leave you a review unless you ask them to, right? And even then, we found that for every 10 clients you ask, maybe one will actually do it. And that's if you're making it easy on them. Um, so this is also a volume game too. You have to ask a lot of people to just get just a few reviews. So for us to get over a thousand reviews, I mean, we had to ask, probably at least 10,000 people, right? And only a thousand, a thousand of them were nice enough to take the time out of the day to actually do it. Um, and this, this, there's a lot of nuances to this, but so if you're going to use some kind of automated software, like texting, emailing, um, send them the link, make it easy on them. So that way they can just click on it because they might, they might go on Google and they might actually f leave a review for the wrong shop if you don't do that. So send them the link if you're going to use these fancy methods. But if you're going to go with the more direct, more effective approach, in my opinion, which is just to ask them, what you could do is take that same link, go to Google, copy the link from the My Business profile, Google My Business, and then turn it into a QR code. There's lots of free softwares that you can do this. Uh, I use Canva to, I just put the link in there convert it to a QR code, and then you print out a little poster and you either keep it at your station or at the front desk and tell them to scan that. 
So that way they don't have to pull up their phone, go on Google, search. It's like, no, if, if you leave me a review, just scan this QR code right here and it'll take you right to our Google page. And ideally you're using the actual review link that will, once they open that up, it actually pops up to, do you see that little window that pops up that, that you can rate one to five stars? So that is gonna be the most effective way to get Google reviews. If you are a barber and you're trying to get more clients in the door, people read the reviews. So take it a step further. And this is actually something I just learned recently. Or this is a theory of mine, but it actually is, if they can, you wanna get them to actually write something too. And, th and also think about, this is more of like a search engine optimization tactic, but if somebody is leaving you a review, you want them, you want to try to encourage them to use certain words if you can. So something, so we're in Jackson, right? So we might ask the client like, hey, could you leave us a review on Google? And if you can try to put like best barber in Jacksonville or best barbershop in Jacksonville. And if you're trying to promote yourself as an individual, definitely tell them to, to use your name in the review. Because that when people read the reviews, they're going to start seeing your name coming up again and again, because they're trying to decide who they're going to go to. And, uh, you know, that's one of the most uh, nerve wracking things about trying a new shop is like, I don't know who to go to. Well, if your name is coming up in all these positive reviews, they're way more likely to go to you. But if you want to take it a step further, tell your clients to leave some sort of SEO friendly type of term in there, like best barber in Jacksonville. Because when people actually go and Google to search and they type in best barber in Jacksonville, your reviews, your shop that has the reviews are way more likely to rank higher if they have those specific words in the review. And if they want to take it even a step further to take that review to the next level, tell them to put a picture in their review too. So those are the three things that you need to do in order to get new clients to to get them to not just get reviews, but to maximize the potential of that review. Because honestly, like a five-star review doesn't say much to a potential client who's scanning through the reviews, trying to decide. It helps. It's better than nothing. But you definitely want to, if you can, have your clients tap five stars, four or five stars is fine, and then have them write something. Ideally, it's going to be something that people would type into Google. So like, John was the best barber in Jacksonville that I found. That's going to do really well in the search results. And then even better, on top of that, if they're trying to hit the best review ever, tell them to take a picture of their haircut or their beard or whatever and post it with that review. If they do that, and if you get hundreds and hundreds of your clients to start leaving the review, I guarantee you will start getting more business on Google than you would have ever thought possible. And it's... One of the most, un I'm, I'm debating whether I, I should even make this video public because this is one of the things that has helped us grow the fastest. We've passed every other barbershop in our city and we're continuing to grow. We're getting over 300 new clients a month without really spending anything on Google. This is all organic. And it's simply because we have the most reviews in the entire city. And that's essentially how we did it. We use a combination of software that automates it but I would say 80 to 90% of the reviews that we've gotten has simply been just because we've asked our clients to do it. They were nice enough to do it. We made it easy on them. And every now and then you can do an incentive. You know, we can, we, we can do, you can do a promotion. If you have a barbershop, you can do a promotion for the barbers. So I will give you five, five bucks or 10 bucks for every five star review you get with your name in it. Really effective in getting the barbers to actually ask people to do it. Um, and then you can also do something for the clients as well. We've done different things, you know, get a free product, you know, like a sample size product. If you leave us a review, um, get a little bit of money off your haircut today. Or, you know, one of the more effective and actually cheaper things to do, surprisingly, is to do a drawing. Because if you think about it, giving somebody like 5 or $10 off a haircut every single time they write a review can get kind of expensive if you're doing hundreds of haircuts a month. But what you could do is you can do like you can create like a hundred dollar basket of products or whatever. And every per you can say every person that writes a review on Google is entered into the drawing. So this basically caps your cost at a hundred dollars a month. 
and then they're for some reason they're actually way more likely to do it for the chance to win this big prize as opposed to taking the sure you know five or ten dollars off or whatever so incentivizing the clients does help um but you'd be surprised if somebody's actually really happy they might not even need a reason to do it it's simply just asking asking them can really go a long way but if you need something to push them over the edge and you're not getting a lot of uh good you know results from just asking then you can do an incentive for either the clients or the barbers if you own a shop or both right so uh, don't ignore google is what i'm saying these other apps these booking apps like like booksy is a popular one and others like those reviews on there really don't mean shit. I mean, unless the clients have the app, maybe. But what happens if you decide to switch from that app to a different app? All those reviews mean nothing now, right? But Google, you own that forever. As long as you're as long as you're on Google, those reviews will always be yours, regardless of which booking app you use. So forget about trying to get reviews on whatever booking app you use. Focus on Google. And Yelp as well. Yelp is harder to get reviews on because they have, you know, sometimes they get filtered out. But don't forget about Yelp either. You just because you you and I hate, might hate Yelp doesn't mean that people don't use Yelp. So don't forget about Yelp either. Don't forget about Facebook. And every tactic that I talked about in this video absolutely applies to those platforms as well. It's just going to be a little bit harder with Yelp and Facebook than with Google. So hopefully that was helpful. If you guys want to join a free group where you can work with me and be part of a community with other barbers and get access to training for just for barbers and barbershop owners that is not public, just click the link in the description below and I hope to see you there.